In this video, we will show you how to develop interactive human VFX applications from scratch using Dollars Deep Light. Dollars Deep Light is a motion capture software using depth cameras. You can download the main program here. In addition to the main program, you will need to download the required library files. After placing the library files in the same directory as the main program, you can run Deep Light. If it's your first time running it, you can register after entering your email and password. If not, you can log in directly. Upon opening the program, you will see the tracking feed from the depth camera in the bottom right corner. At the top left, Deep Light features buttons for mirror, calibration, and streaming settings. Click the question mark for program documentation. If you are using the trial version, streaming to Unreal will have pauses, you can purchase the full version at the URL shown in the program. Deep Light also tracks gestures such as swiping and hand raising, with prompts in the top right. For Unreal Engine, we will use this plugin. You can find the link in the video description. Let's create a new Unreal project and add the plugin from the Epic Launcher. Open the example map of the project. You'll notice a red prompt. Follow the instructions to modify the project settings. Then, open the project's plugin settings, enable OSC, and restart the project to apply the changes. Back on Dollar's documentation website, download the plugin and mannequin blueprints compatible with Deep Light. After downloading and extracting the files, copy them to the content directory of your project. Open the example map for effects. Delete the example sequence and corresponding effects. Drag Dollar's mannequin blueprint into the scene and reset its position. Then, add a Dollar's receiver. In the mocap actor variable of the receiver, select the mannequin in the scene. In the mannequin's receiver, similarly select the receiver in the scene. Run the project to confirm connectivity with deep light. Next, open the mannequin blueprint. Add a Niagara component and attach it to the mesh of the mannequin. In the Niagara asset, select Coin. Open the parameter settings. Choose Attach Parent in the source mode. Back in the scene, select the mannequin. In the Niagara component, you may see a CPU access error. Click Fix Now to resolve it. Launch the project to see the coin effect in action. Return to the mannequin blueprint and set the mannequin's material to invisible to hide its body. Now, only the coin effects are shown. Next, let's switch effects using gesture recognition. Deep Light now supports recognition of these actions. This time, we'll use a right-hand swipe to the left for switching. In the mannequin blueprint, a gesture handling event is already set up. Handle the case when the event is named Swift Left. Use a flip-flop to toggle between the rock and coin effects. Run the project to see the effect switching in action. Finally, let's add handling for when no one is present. Referencing the documentation, you can determine presence by checking if visibility head is 0 or 1. First, find a walking animation sequence in the plugin. Right-click and retarget it, selecting the mannequin from the dollars plugin as the target skeleton. Then, open the mannequin's animation blueprint. 
Drag the MO cap actor into the anim graph to access visibility head. Drag the retarget walking animation into anim graph. Add a blend poses by int node in anim graph. Connect visibility head to the index. This way, when visibility head is 0, the walking animation plays, when it's 1, it uses the motion capture animation. Adjust the blend time accordingly. You'll see that when the depth camera is blocked, the depth feed in deep light's bottom right corner disappears, and the character starts walking. You can add your own logic as needed. Finally, you can download a packaged programs with more effects here.